1916. The Eastern Front is locked in a stalemate. After several failed and expensive campaigns, the Russians were unwilling to attack, while the Austro-Hungarians were content to hold the line. Germany battled the Allies in France and Belgium, but the Allies needed to attack the Central Powers on both fronts. So the under-resourced Russian army was pressed to find new methods to break down the superior Habsburg forces that had long resisted them. Мы копаем наши траншеи далеко на ничейной земле, некоторые лишь в 70 метрах от их линии обороны. Генерал Брусилов сказал нам, что элемент неожиданности бывает опаснее винтовки. Капитан отобрал взвод самых сильных и храбрых наших бойцов. Наш маленький отряд должен будет штурмовать три вражеских окопа еще до прекращения артобстрела. Россия, наша великая страна, могла прокормить целый мир, а нам не хватает еды. И не только еды, одежды, топлива, обуви. Как мы будем воевать без обуви? Soldiers, orders from General Brusilov. Four objectives. First, the Galicia fields must be taken. Following that success, we will drive towards the windmills and secure the Veria crossing. From here, we will move across no man's land and meet their trenches head on. Finally, we must capture Melnik Farm. It is time to make this valley Russian land once again. Be bold, and victory will be ours! We lost their duck, brothers and sisters. The heart of our great country is beating in sympathy. So take up your arms once more and fight! This time to victory! Again we lose. We still live. The dream of victory is not over. We have one last chance to see these Habsburg dogs to their graves. Stand up, soldiers! Stand up and fight again! they won this fight. But you cannot be victorious by standing in defense. It takes blood to claim victory. So this is what we shall give them. You fought like lions, but have lost this battle. Your passion for our motherland will never stop, and you will fight again. Only the dead have seen the end of this war. We are victorious. Your loyalty, soldiers, your spirit of self-sacrifice and your courage are an example to all Allied forces. The Habsburg monster is in retreat. With precise artillery attacks and methodical use of shock troops, the Brasilov offensive managed to breach many sections of the Eastern Front. To avoid a total collapse of its armies and so the Empire, it was vital for the Austro-Hungarians to hold up the Russian advance until German troops arrived from the west. Kolomia was to be where one of these decisive battles would take place. Да, все сочувствуют участникам этой жуткой войны, живым и погибшим. Но нельзя, чтобы чувства затмевали нам разум. Мы собираемся охотиться на Габсбургов. Мы развели костры, но нас все равно кусает лютый мороз. Я хочу вогнать штык в брюх австрийца и снова почувствовать, как в моих жилах течет кровь. Чего бы мы сейчас не достигли, царь уже обречен. Мы воюем за Брусилова. Герои России, за наших братьев и сестер, оставшихся дома. К 
Comrades, the Habsburg forces are taking up positions in Kalamir. To capture it, we must first secure the eastern line here. Then we move on to take the heavily defended Samara River. Once these areas are open to us, we must move through the town and attack the Chikova Church. Our last assault will be to drive the enemy from the Kalamia supply line. Victory here will surely be the end of their entire army. Let us not fail. For the Tsar! failed, you fought valiantly. And so you will again. Remember those lost at Tannenberg, at the Masurian Lakes. Fight for their souls! Another battle lost. The Russian bear is but wounded. While there is air in your lungs, you can still roar. This is our final attack. We fight to the last soldier. We do not surrender. We have failed. The enemy was too strong for us. Be gracious and defeat, brothers and sisters. Thank the dead for their sacrifice. By the beginning of 1916, it was becoming increasingly clear that Russia could no longer... A glorious victory that shows the true strength of Mother Russia. But we will not stop here. We will march across the Carpathians and bring a final end to the Habsburg Empire itself. The 1916 Brusilov Offensive proved to be the worst crisis of World War I for Austria-Hungary and the Triple Entente's greatest victory. But it came at a tremendous loss of life for both sides. And without the promised support of Russia's other armies, much of the territory gained by Brusilov was lost to the Germans arriving from the west. It is a sad irony that in the end, it was a political collapse in Russia, not a military defeat, that would decide the outcome of this region's war. Bald werden sie kommen. Erst das Bombardement, dann Massen von Infanterie. Aber unsere Bunker werden uns beschützen. Wir haben drei Verteidigungslinien, jeweils fünf Kilometer voneinander entfernt. Religiöse Seelen stellen sich die Hölle als flammendes Inferno mit glühender Kohle und extremer Hitze vor. Die Soldaten, die im Schnee an der Ostfront kämpfen, wissen es besser. Am Horizont ist wieder ein russisches Flugzeug aufgetaucht. Wir haben sofort das Feuer eröffnet, aber es hatte offenbar genug gesehen und drehte ab. Und wieder wurde unsere Stellung kurz darauf mit Granaten beschossen. Soldiers, the Russians are finally upon us. So prepare yourselves. We must defend Galicia fields. If we fail, do not despair. We will move to our second line of defense at the Varejia crossing. Should we lose this position, we must retreat to this area of no man's land. If the enemy proves too strong, we shall fall back and defend Melnik farm. For the love of our great empire, show strength and courage. We shall not fail. remain ours, brothers. This Russian attack was no match for the great Habsburg army. Our brotherhood is legendary. Let them come again. Our defense is held. The Russian advance has been stopped. Be proud of this glorious achievement, men. Hope that they come again, for they are no match for us. We have won this fight, shown our superiority, 
our brotherhood. When their final attack comes, soldiers, honor your dead brothers with the greatest victory our army has ever known. victors here. As in Tannenberg, the Russians have been proven weak and inferior. But they will come once more. When they do, they will be defeated. A Habsburg victory! These invaders must now realize that our troops are invincible. Our empire will not fall. We will grow and we will prosper. Oh no! Sanitata! This territory is lost. We must fall back and prepare to fight again at Colomea. While there is a man left standing, the sun will not set on the Habsburg Empire. Wir warten schweigend. Denn würden wir sprechen, käme die Wahrheit heraus. Nämlich, dass eine Niederlage hier das Ende unserer Armee und vielleicht sogar des Reichs bedeuten würde. Wir sind neun, zehn Kilometer marschiert. Und ständig dachten wir an weitere Kämpfe gegen die Russen. Es war die reinste Folter. General Hotzendorf kann nicht erwarten, dass wir weitergehen. Mit der Zeit wird die seltsame Stille der Stadt immer unheimlicher. Die Männer starren nur nach vorne und warten auf die Schlacht. Wo bleiben die Russen? These are grave times. We must hold our positions no matter the cost. Our intelligence suggests that the Russians will first attack the eastern line here. If they are successful, we must fall back to defend the Samara River. Our next defensive position will be in the heart of the town, at the ruins of Chekhova Church. If, God forbid, these defenses should fall, our last stand will be at the Kolomea supply line. Do not let them pass. The future of our army, indeed our entire empire, depends upon it. This is our victory. They came in numbers and they died in numbers. And so they will again. Form positions. Get ready. remains ours. By order of the Emperor and Supreme Commander Archduke Friedrich, I address to you my felicitations and congratulations on your exemplary conduct. Now, prepare to defend once more. We have won. Two soldiers have fought off the Russian invaders. The German armies will soon join us to push them back through the mud. The Emperor salutes you. By the beginning of 1916, it was becoming increasingly clear that Russia could no longer sustain the losses from several failed operations, while maintaining loyalty to the autocratic and ever more dysfunctional monarchy of Tsar Nicholas II. If the Austro-Hungarians had managed to halt the first Brusilov advance, inflicting further wounds on Russia, it is likely that anger amongst the people at home would have ignited the revolution immediately, leading to the Bolsheviks pulling Russia out of the war before the winter set in. A huge blow to the Allied alliance. Soldiers, we have lost this battle. And I think this war. We are on the verge of a military and national catastrophe. May the Emperor save us. Russia, 1919. A civil war rages between the revolutionary Bolsheviks and the anti-communist White Armies. On the banks of the Great Volga River, the town of Tsaritsyn stands as one of Russia's most important industrial centers and the gateway to central Russia. 
Having laid siege to Tsaritsyn on three previous occasions, the White Army, now aided by British tanks and planes, finally succeeded in capturing the town. These counter-revolutionaries, mostly Cossacks and old Imperial forces, hoped to use this victory to secure southern Russia and ultimately launch an assault on Moscow, the seat of Bolshevik power. However, the Red Army, with its radical but popular ideologies, still controlled the central regions. This meant that most of the country's oil and grain were under Bolshevik control. With winter fast approaching, the Bolsheviks thought that the White Army would be too weak to hold the town for much longer. После высадки из поезда наш полк выстроили у берега Волги. Волга, матушка. В ее неторопливых водах отражается душа всей России. Мы народное ополчение, новая российская армия. Наш долг бороться с империалистами и угнетателями. Товарищ Сталин написал прежние бои за город. Три года здесь лилась русская кровь. Взять царицы наш долг перед павшими товарищами. Men, orders from Comrade Stalin concerning our attack. Our first objective is to secure and hold the red line here. From this position, we will advance to this area, Zevina's ruins. Once we have this sector, we will look to take control of the Don River. From here, we can launch an assault on Saritsan itself. Comrades, the success of our revolution depends upon this fight. Brothers, our attack has failed, but be not afraid. You have hearts of iron, a will of steel. Now you will triumph! Lost once more. Foreign nations, supporters of the imperialist, have conspired against us. Let us not waver. Let us act. One last time. This fight is lost, comrades. But remember, our revolution was born to the sound of funeral orations. While there are still oppressed in Russia, our cause lives on. Rejoice, comrades, for we are victorious. We prove that the will of the people's army is stronger than those imperialists who try to destroy us. When we take the city, all of Russia will rise up and we will be united once again. With their forces destabilized, the White Army retreated to the streets of Tsaritsyn that they had so recently fought to capture. General Wrangel knew that holding the town was vital for the counter-revolutionary forces in southern Russia. They needed such a base to launch an advance on Moscow. And without access to the oil and grain in the North Caucasus, it was evident that the coalition of white forces would soon weaken and ultimately break apart. Меня пугает зима. Революционного настроя недостаточно для поддержания боеспособности. Нужна еще теплая обувь. На подходах к городу меня поразило. Сколько вокруг свежих могил и крестов. Это русские. Их убили мы. Разве это не брата убийства? Из Москвы прислали оружие и провиант. Аж от сердца отлегло. Мы-то знаем, что товарища Сталина в Кремле недолюбливают. Comrades, the volunteer forces occupy several strongholds within the city. Our priority is to take the Amchenko Street. Once secured, we should be able to advance into and hold the ruins of Savrasova Street. It is from here that we will launch our attack on Teplova Square and the Cathedral. With these positions under our control, 
will then move into and secure the merchant district. Success here means the city will be ours once again. Our great leaders depend upon you. We have lost this fight. Remember our mission. A mission for peace, bread and land. We must battle once again. Another defeat, yet we still live and breathe. Fight for the Kremlin! Fight to the last man! We have lost the battle and must kneel in defeat. The White Rebellion and their Imperial allies have proven themselves stronger. Retreat and protect Moscow. We have won the battle, comrades. The criminals and Imperialist Old Guard who tried to strangle our ideals are no more. Thank Lenin for his wisdom. Losing Tsaritsyn to the Red Army was a catastrophic blow to the anti-revolutionary forces. The momentum the White Guard had gained in the South was now at an end. They began to lose the support of many previously loyal factions, who ultimately had no desire to reinstate a Tsarist regime. With their ranks thinned, the Whites' attempt to take Moscow ended in failure, and their armies were forced to retreat to the Crimean Peninsula. Though the rear guard held out long enough to ensure the evacuation of 150,000 soldiers and civilians by sea, General Wrangel's forces were ultimately defeated here. The Red Army now controlled all of Russia, and the civil war ended in November 1920. На мне форма царской армии, на других черкесские папахи. Мы разные. Но нас объединила ненависть к большевикам. Мы трижды пытались взять город. Взятие Царицына — это ободряющий клич всему миру, презирающему коммунистов. Большевики жгут села и запугивают крестьян. Вот она, их свобода. Я грузил пушки в очрево спящего поезда, огромного стального монстра. Сегодня войну выигрывает тот, кто контролирует железные дороги. Soldiers, Lieutenant General Rangel has given clear orders. We must stand our ground at the red line here. Should we lose this position, we will then retreat to the Vienna's ruins. We must use the ruins for cover, or we may be overrun. If this should happen, then we must fall back to this area of the Don River. Failure here would mean retreating into Tsaritsyn itself. Let the past be our future. For Mother Russia! Bolsheviks are defeated. Excellent work. But prepare for those devils to come again. And when they do, send them back to hell. You are heroes all. Commander and peasant. Man and woman, you defended the honor of a great country. Now defend her again, for they will come one last time. drum and blood and dirt. There is no way back for them. The past is our future. The 
soldiers. We have lost this position. In the name of General Rangel, who first conquered this town, we must retreat and protect our prize from those Bolshevik marauders. Сколько еще эти красные дикари будут позорить русский народ? Главные инструменты политической агитации для них – винтовки и насилие. С баррикад я вижу мертвого солдата. Его глаза открыты, он смотрит на нас, не мигая, подобно восковой кукле. Его взгляд сдавливает мне горло и холодит сердце. По ночам на улицах слышны крики. Местные скандируют большевистские лозунги. Город заражен красной чумой. Defenders of Tsarizen. Our spies tell us that Demchenko Street will be the first target, so we must defend here. Should we lose this position, we must immediately fall back to Savrasova Street and hold our ground. Failure in this sector would mean retreating to Diplova Square and rallying our forces at the cathedral. If we fail to hold this position, we will then be forced to make our last stand in the merchant district. The success of our entire campaign depends on controlling this area. Lose the city, and we will likely lose this war. An inspired victory, soldiers! We have shown these Reds to be simple peasants, lacking enthusiasm and training. But they will come again, so be prepared. The poor Soviet fools cannot accept defeat. They are a wild beast with a corrupted mind. That is why they will come one last time, and that is why they will die. victorious. The Bolsheviks have shown that command through fear will never succeed. Every Russian man and woman will soon pledge loyalty to us again. Across all the world this victory will be saluted. Had the White Army succeeded in holding Tsaritsyn and kept control of the Volga River, access to oil and grain would have surely strengthened their tiring forces. With fuel in their tanks and food in their stores, perhaps their subsequent march on Moscow would have been successful and seen the volunteer army put an end to the socialist revolution. Had the Reds lost Tsaritsyn, perhaps Commissar Joseph Stalin's position in the Bolshevik ranks would not have been so favorable, and so the future of Soviet Russia would have looked very different indeed. Soldiers, the city is lost, but there are no real victors, for we are all beggars now. Russia has run out of bread and humanity. Losing Tsaritsyn to the Red Army was a catastrophic blow to the anti-revolutionary forces. The momentum the White Guard had gained in the South was now at an end. They began to lose the support of many previously loyal factions, 